top of her, she had a mild stroke. So please, please pray for us. Daddy, which is Sister Renee's mother. Also, continue to pray for uh, uh, Sister Mojo's niece, Ashley. Amen. She needs prayer. She needs prayer. Amen. And also, please pray for Sister Ruthie's brother. He is going into hospice. And also pray for Regina. This is Sister Renee. I mean, Sister Ruthie's granddaughter is in, is in the hospital. She has fluid around her heart. So let us pray for Sister Ruthie's granddaughter and brother. Amen. Are there any other unspoken prayer requests you can make them known by raising your hand? God, acknowledge. Let's all bow our heads in prayer. Oh, Holy Father, in the precious name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to come before your throne of grace. Lord, to receive mercy and help in times of trouble. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessings, us, Lord, to come out to this house and worship, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for all your wonderful blessings that you have restored from our lives, Lord. Lord, for giving us the gift of repentance, Lord Jesus, for the one baptism in your precious name, Lord, and again, for the Holy Ghost. Lord, we ask, Lord, you look for all these prayer requests that have been submitted before you, Lord. Lord, touch and move in each and every one of them according to your will, Lord Jesus. Lord, we know you are the great physician. Lord, we know what you are behind the name. Lord, touch and move in each and every one of these prayer requests according to your will. Lord, we ask, Lord, you also look upon this service right now. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your presence that we feel right now in the sanctuary. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the words we have gotten to see. Lord, we ask, Lord, you give us ears to hear, Lord, to bless us, Lord, to open up our hearts and we may receive your word, Lord. Let your word fall upon good ground. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
at this time, we would like to uh, give a praise and welcome to our people. So we ask Mr. Allen and the ushers to come to help us receive this evening's tithes and all. Amen. Amen. Uh, please remember that coming up this uh, this Sunday will be we will be having our uh, church's leadership meeting. Amen. So all leaders, you uh, please avail yourself accordingly. Mr. Allen, would you please bless the offer? He's our man to get
how to come through. Like, you know, you finish something, and then you start trying to get you to start, you know, worrying about something else, you know. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? Uh-uh, I'm done.
Amen. Would you one more time clap your hands and pray the Lord?
The presence of the Lord. And she is so strong tonight. That somebody can get filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Wouldn't that be something? The first Amen Bible study in New Year's. Yes, Lord. That someone get the Holy Ghost. Yes. I believe it can happen for tonight. Yes. Will you lift up your hands right now? And if you believe that it could happen tonight, amen. When you begin to worship him right now. Thank you. And love on the Lord right now. Jackson, 
It was, I'll be there. I believe the Lord is telling us, amen, for 2023, that he will be there. Whenever we are facing, amen, today, the Lord is right next to us and will help us to see it to the end. Now, I appreciate Sister Rose's testimony. Amen. He was holding her hand through the whole process. Yes, she was. Glory. Yes. Oh, yes. As we look ahead to the new year, uh -huh. oh, yes. we can remember that the Lord will be with us every single moment. Of the next 300 and some days. Amen. The Lord will be there. And he's here right now. Will you lift your hands right now? Will you acknowledge the presence of the Lord right now? He'll be there. Praise God. One day that one one thing that stands out to me about this verse. Is how the Lord recognized that the Israelites might be afraid yeah. as we can be also. Yeah. Amen. It amazes me how the Lord had to remind them over and over again that he was there to hold their hand. Amen. And the Lord wants to remind us tonight Going through 2023, the Lord is available to hold your hand. Will you praise him one more time? In the context of this chapter of Isaiah, the Israelites was facing battle with other nations. There are going to be some battles that we're going to have to fight in 2023. Yeah. But we need to remind ourselves mm -hmm. when the enemy comes in like a flood that the Lord is going to raise a standard by his spirit in 2023. Will you clap your hands up to the Lord? Thank you, Lord. He raise a standard. God is aware of our worries and fears. Don't tell me you don't worry. Yeah. Preach. Come on. Or you don't deal with fear. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Be real. Amen. We sometimes worry. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. And we have to deal with fear. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. But I'm going to tell you right now <laughs> God is there to hold your hand oh, through the process. Yeah. Will you clap your hands and go, God is there. And hold your hand. Praise God. The Lord understands their fear. Instead of telling them they were wrong to be afraid or chastising them for their lack of faith, he simply reminded them that he is right there with them. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. And the next time you're dealing with fear or being afraid, I want you to shout out to that devil. My God is right there. Will you clap your hand to the Lord? My God is right there. He's with me because I'm holding this hand. Praise God. Today, whatever you are experiencing, whether on the high, high peak of the mountain, and in the Lord's Valley, or somewhere in between, yes. the Lord is willing. Come here, brother. The Lord is willing to hold your hand. Yes. Yes. 
whether you're at the high B or the low B or in between, the Lord is there the whole year. Will you clap your hands on the Lord? Thank the Lord. He's there the whole year. He does not look down on you for your weaknesses. In fact, he will help you overcome your weaknesses. Yes. And we are honest with ourselves tonight. Amen. We all have to deal with weaknesses. Amen. And thank God that he doesn't look down on us. Amen. But he's there to help us to overcome our weaknesses. Can you clap your hand one more time on the Lord? Whenever you are experiencing, whatever you're experiencing, you never have to face it alone. Amen. That's right. The very God of the universe loves you and will walk side by side with you. Whatever you're experiencing, God will never leave you alone. Amen. That's right. Walk by your side. Amen. Every step, every step of the way. Amen. Amazes me, amen, when we began to look at some of the saints in the New Testament. Some of the things they had to go through. There's no doubt in my mind that Apostle Paul himself had to deal with fear. Amen. Yet there was something about Apostle Paul. You see, he had some experiences with the Lord. He knew, regardless of his circumstances, that the Lord would be there to hold his hand. Will you clap your hand on the Lord? Saints, we need to remind, amen, we need to remember, though that the Lord will only hold our hand. Hello, here's the catch. That the Lord will only hold our hand if we extend it to him. Amen. He only got a little quiet on me. Amen. You only hold your hand if you extend it to him. He will not forcefully grab our hand to take control. We have to be willing. He won't give you the Holy Ghost except you're willing to receive it. He's not going to cram the Spirit of God in you. You have to have, amen, the attitude that I want. When we offer it to him, he will gladly take it. We do not have to provide anything except our willingness to be helped by the Lord. And he will answer and help us every time. Amen. He's looking for a willing vessel to reach out, to hold his hand yes. so the Lord can help you. Amen. Will you clap your hands to the Lord? Hallelujah. There's a song that talks about holding to God's unchanging.
It's sad to say that over the years there have been many people who have reached out to hold his hand. For some reason, they let it go. Amen. Even to those who once upon a time have held on to his hand and had experience with him, and they let it go. God does not look down on you. What he's looking for is you to extend your hand one more time. The hold to God's unchanging hand. We yeah. love on the Lord right now. Take a little time. Love on the Lord right now. Love on the Lord right now. Come on, love on the Lord right now. Hallelujah. Love on the Lord right now. Hallelujah. I want you to think about the beginning of 2023 with Amen. Your heart open right now. If you haven't received the Holy Ghost, I want you to stand. Right now, if you want the Spirit of God, I want you to stand right now with an open heart. In 2023, God can take care of right now tonight before you leave here tonight. Amen. If you want it, amen. Would you stand and reach out and extend your hand to the Lord tonight with your heart? Push it up, 
Jesus. 